Hello, in this video I want to show you how to debug Java and JavaScript simultaneously with JavaScript development tools. And as you can see, I have a project imported to my workspace. Basically, it's Spring MVC application. So I have some Spring controllers for handling my HTTP requests. And on front end, I have a Simlib template engine with a jQuery for sending AJAX requests. Um, first thing we need to do to debug our application is to add it to their Tomcat server. Uh, as you can see, I have already added. And now uh, I just need to uh, start the server in the debug mode. So as you can see, if I right click on the project, you can see that I have Chrome Chromium debugger menu item, which is disabled for now but it will be enabled once the server is started. So now you can see the server is started and I can uh, see that Chrome Chromium debugger is available. Basically, it will uh, start a new instance of Chromium in the debug mode. So let's do it. Um, and now you can see that I have Chrome Chromium running here and Let's log in first of all to my application. <clears throat> okay, and now if I would like to put some breakpoints, let's do it in, in a couple of places. So first of all, I would like to put a breakpoint in my controller. Um, and I would like to put a breakpoint in the functions that hand, handle uh, HTTP requests and probably for logout function. So now if I will press a send custom JSON button, I will be switched to the debug perspective now and I can debug my Java code so I can see HTTP entity and I can get the body from my uh, Ajax request and see this value here. So, and now I'm switched to uh, my JavaScript file and I'm now in, in the success function here. So now you can see that my page says success. Also, if I do the very same thing one more time, I can actually change values on the fly, like add some exclamation marks in the end. And if I right click on this file, V8 debugging, push those changes to VM. Now I will have another value returned to my page here. So the same is if I press sign out button, I will also be switched to debug perspective where I can see all my da data uh, variable and I can also change values on the fly. So that's how it works for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.